destroying the base. Can it be like in a circle? The first thing that we need to know about drawing fur is that it's going to follow movement. It's always going to have some movement. As an example, if the movement is this direction, it's going to be like, whoa, a small lock of fur, a big one, smaller one, smaller one, smaller one, small, yes, small, yes, that's good. There's always going to be the principal one, normally in the middle, it tends to be in the middle, and some close to it. But guess how you choose to make this reaction and this and this and that? Oh, guess how? I'm gonna erase that and show you how I choose it. For the it doesn't ch it doesn't normally go like yeah yeah it has some curvature you know it's going to curve look at my hair right here it's going to curve it got some curvature woo woo it curves so that's what we need to keep in mind curvature and not only that fur tends to be on the triangle format. Yes, triangle, triangle. Okay, I'm going to draw a tail. Whoop. This is going to be the movement. We can also call this gesture, okay? This is only the movement. I'm going to draw the tail around it. Small fur, right here. Getting bigger. Whoa, too big. Getting big. And following the movement. And here, we're going to do the same. Small, and then get big, and big. But sometimes you need to think about the interior part of the fur, like the meat behind it, you know? Like here, I think it's a bit too close of the meat and the bones. So I'm going to erase this part a bit. And now I can just keep going. Yeah, yeah. A big one, fluffy, fluffy. And I keep just going. And remember what I said, it always a triangle appearing. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Try the angle. <laughs> triangle. And another triangle. And another triangle. There's a lot of triangles here. to paint this fur white yes white test our real ability on dealing with shadows and light but caps it's white why are you painting it a little blue never paint it fully black and white don't do it I have noticed that my background is gray. 
I'm doing this because this is like the middle middle gray and it's not going to change my perspective on what is real light and what is real shadow. put it into multiply and take out feel take out feel take out feel what I'm doing right now is pressing ctrl alt and pressing between layer 01 and base I'm going to press F5, transfer. Now we got that soft shadow. Oh yeah. Now we are going to create a basic shadow. But to create a shadow, we need to choose the place of the light. The light is going to be here, okay? I'm going to use my beloved smudge too. It's on 80% strength. do is use your eraser and just create some fur right here it's like a gem it's like a gem or like a banana yeah you can see that as a banana <laughs> Something that we can change is just lock our shadow layer, go to our brush and change it to color mode. We're going to add some hot highlights.
try color dodge. Remember, if you make a mistake, you can just go back. Remember to go back. Don't try to, I don't know, I'm going to fix it. Go back. If you just did a mistake, you know the mistake. Fix it right now. Some strands of fur randomly.
Okay, I'm going to add some effects here. First of all, soft, no, color, yeah, yeah. First of all, color doge. 